sometimes known as Crazy J, because I bought a ranch in Topanga three years ago and turned it into a music venue for house concerts, non-commercial, not-for-profit. All the proceeds go to the artists on stage. Old train, I've been everywhere you go, and I know what lies beyond each bed. Old train, each time you pass, you're older than the last, and it seems I'm too old for John Jorgensen is world class, as is Herb Peterson and the rest of the gang. Uh, they are a super band. They're well known. They've been had fantastic careers and keep on ticking. So we're here with uh, members of the John Jorgensen Bluegrass Band. So it's Mark Fain, John Jorgensen, Patrick Sauber, and Herb Peterson. Yep. And. Uh, this is the last gig here in the, in, in the Southern California area for some time. Where are you going next? Um, next we go to the East Coast, yep. Maine, Connecticut, Massachusetts, um, New, York. New York. New York. <laughs> yeah. 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 We start way up in New York. It's a, a place I've never been to before. It's almost Canada. Yeah. So that, that'll be nice. Like summer. Almost Canada. <laughs> our home and... No, okay, okay. <laughs> Because um, after after we play New England, then we're in Tennessee, uh, in North Carolina, Nashville, Nashville on my birthday, July sixth at the City Winery. Big so party! Everybody Big come party. out, yeah. <laughs> Humiliate me a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then we come yeah. back on the west coast and go up north. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's yeah. This is quite a, a long tour for the, for the J two B two. It is. It? Yeah. Well, it's not all one tour. It's just we kind of we kind of have clumps of dates. Yeah, and, it's a tourette. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A tourette. A tourette. Okay. Yeah, it's a syndrome that we have. Really? Anyway, uh, yeah. so Mark, sing that there. I, I, I wanted to to uh, I wanted to note though that you're playing Bill Bryson's right. bass, yeah. and that's that's a kind of passing on the legacy, which is really cool. Yeah, it's great. I love playing it. It's, and what did you think about Patrick singing "Riding on the L and N"? Well, as long as we don't think about what Bill would have said. <laughs> no, I'm sure he would have loved it. The funny thing is, I forgot to say on the mic, is the, that, that same cassette that I first heard Old Train on, uh, Riding on the l &N was on that cassette, too. And I was just uh, early days of playing Bluegrass at Disneyland, and someone made a tape for Doug Maddox, the banjo player, of songs that we might want to do. You know, and, and both of those songs were on there. And pretty quickly after we started playing the song, we played at a special event outside of Disneyland. And it was at a, a, a venue that Bill Bryson was in the house band of, of that venue. And he came in early and met one of the guys in, in our band, not me. And he, he asked the guys, hey, you yeah, know, that song, Alan in, kind of, that was a pretty good song. Who wrote that? And this and it was Dick Hardwick, and he did not know. He said, "I don't know." Uh, the bluegrass something is where we found it. You know, he, he couldn't even remember the bluegrass cardinals. But that was, uh, you know, his first meeting with Bill, and he he told me after that, and I was so embarrassed. Cause I, I know that we sucked so hard on the song. You know, and and Herb, I could ask you about a million different sessions and so forth and tours and page so forth. one but, but <laughs> that's it, too far it's back. about the tuning yeah. peg thing so yeah. where did that come from well that was earl scruggs that came up with that right and uh he w recorded his tune earl's breakdown and when he recorded it he didn't even have the tuners yet he did it 
just yeah, regular like tune, manually. Right? Uh, no, yeah. the, no, he oh, just manually. Did, yeah, manually, and he came up to one point, and I think he overshot it a little bit, so <laughs> you can hear him kind of step back and yeah. During that last, and, during the last fiddle solo, you can hear Earl turning to yeah, yeah back just a little <laughs> tiny bit. But oh my God, what an innovator he was! Mark, what is it about these guys that you you know enjoy? Easy working now. with them so much. Uh, easy now. It's, it's that easy. money. That money. It's, it's a lot of money. <laughs> wait, bluegrass I mean, and a lot of money. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. That don't, that don't add up. But. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's, it's just it's fun. There's no pressure just to come out and play music with friends. It's not like a, you know, a lot of bands there's, that I've been in is a lot of pressure to perform. And we there's no pressure here. We're just, glad you don't feel that. <laughs> come out and, <laughs> and just have fun and play some music and you know, hopefully people enjoy it. One last question. You're, you have a CD out of uh, performance at McCabe's of the band. Do you have any recordings in the works or planned or forthcoming anytime mm. soon? Uh, ish. Ish? <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing hard and fast. He's, Ideas, he's shaking his head yes. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of songs that we do need to record in the studio. Um, just he has, whenever we get time. John has secret tracks in the can. That we haven't heard. <laughs> that, this is true. Actually. Yeah, yeah, Mark and so, I recorded. That's right. true. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll let so, you hear those. You know, now people just release a single. Well, they don't even say release. Yeah. They say drop. Right. They drop a single. So yeah. I'll drop something on these guys. You drop it. You drop it. You, you pick it up, there. dust it off, and Everything. we'll take it from there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mic drop. Yeah. Poof. That being said. On that note. Yeah. <laughs> thanks so much. It's thanks. great thanks, seeing guys. you today, and safe travels always. <laughs> thank, thank, you. thank you, Stevie. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Well, train, I go weary from the miles, but I'll miss the freedom that's mine. Well, train, just to think about these times, I'll smile when you're highballed by. Old train, each time you pass, you're older than the last and it's I'm too old for running. I hear your rusty wheels great against the rails. They cry with every mile. So the bell stay a while. Kick off. <laughs> the one that terrifies every guitar player. <laughs>